Okay guys, uh, today we're working on 2007 BMW X3. This is the one with the M Sport package. Um, long story short, the uh, long story short, the coolant reservoir exploded. You know, those are easy enough to replace. There's a million other videos out there to change that, that out. Uh, changed it out and everything. It was still overheating. It was only overheating after uh, long drives or sitting through traffic, um, which indicated to me that the fan may not be working. The, the plug for the fan is right here. I pulled that off and put a voltmeter on it and saw that it was getting 12 volts and that it wasn't turning on when the car was getting up to operating temperature. So I thought the, the fan was it, or I thought the fan was my whole problem. Uh, it turns out I changed the fan out and everything, and this new one that's in there that's working now, but it wasn't working at first. Um, everything that I've read online said to check the coolant temp sensor. They also said it was gonna be down here on this lower radiator hose um, in the plug. I look at that and say, shoot, I don't have one. You know, where? what do I do? Where do I check? Um, where you want to go, if your car doesn't have the coolant temp sensor and that lower radiator hose down there, that's going to be right up on top, right here. This here is the sensor. Um, I unplugged it while the car was running, or I, I unplugged it then started the car, and, uh, and the fan kicked on. So that told me the sensor was bad. Changed it out, it was like 17 bucks from AutoZone, it took like two minutes. It's right up on top, easy to access. And uh, yeah, and then now it works. Forgive the mess and everything that was from trying to uh, fix the reservoir and I got it, I splashed it a little everywhere and you know, the belt and the fan obviously kicked it around. So yeah, uh, hopefully this helps you. Um, yeah, thanks.